Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Cynthia Buckley, and I'm a teacher, a mom, and I had the honor of working for a circus school for a lot of years. And one of the things that we did was travel the country and teach kids and adults how to juggle. So today I'm going to teach you in three easy steps how to juggle. So there's a lot of great reasons to learn how to juggle. One of them is your hand-eye coordination. It's an excellent skill for anybody to do. It's also a lifelong activity. You can juggle until you're 100. It doesn't require very much equipment. I have three balls and a little bit of space. Um, you don't need giant rowing machines or expensive equipment. These three bean bags cost about $15 on Amazon. So, great skill to have, great life, lifelong activity. In order to juggle, as I said, you need these three bean bags. Now, I would prefer you use bean bags because when you learn to juggle, you are going to drop them. <laughs> when you drop them, Bean bags stay where they land. You're not gonna be chasing them down the street. If you're trying to juggle with a tennis ball, tennis balls are hard to catch because they tend to bounce on your hand and it makes it more difficult. The other thing is when you drop it, it rolls and bounces away. I'm gonna bounce away. And I'm gonna spend most of my time chasing this ball if I try to learn how to juggle with a tennis ball or any kind of ball. So bean bags are the best, right? Go ahead and pause, go ahead and get your bean bags, and when you come back, I'm gonna show you step number one to learning how to juggle. The most important part of juggling is to learn the movements that you're gonna make. A lot of people think you're gonna juggle with your hands up here, right? You're not. You're gonna juggle with your hands at your side, and you're gonna practice making a scooping motion, like you're scooping ice cream. So go ahead and do that with me. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I know it seems silly, but always, always make sure your hands are at waist level and you're scooping inwards. That's how you're gonna to toss your bean bag. So when you get your first bean bag, and only one bean bag, we're gonna start with one, you're gonna scoop the motion in and toss it to the other hand. You're gonna to try to toss it just about eye level, right? And then you're gonna catch it with your other hand. So scoop, right? And the word for this, we always say a chant when we're juggling, just so we can keep the rhythm and the pattern. I'm gonna say toss, catch, toss, catch. And my hands are a little high, I really need to keep them down here just a little bit lower, ready? Toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. You notice that bean bag isn't going any higher than my eyes? Yeah? All right, go ahead and pause the film and go ahead and practice that a few times until you get it just about right, keeping your hands at your side and the ball no higher or lower than about eye level. Welcome back. I know you've been practicing. So, you're practicing with one bean bag and you're gonna scoop, toss, and catch, right? Imagine you have a box around you that goes from about your waist to just above your eyes to right out here. And that's about the area you want to keep your juggling bean bags. So let's try it together with one bean bag. Ready? Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Good job. I think you got it. And I think you're ready to go on to two bean bags. Go ahead and pause right now and practice. When you come back and unpause, make sure you have two bean bags in your hand. The best idea is to try and get two bean bags of different colors. Makes it easier to learn the pattern. We'll see you in a moment. All right, I'm back with my two bean bags. Um, mine aren't totally different colors, but you can see this one has red on it. So you're going to start with one bean bag in each hand. The pattern you're going to make is an X, right? Remember the box we talked about earlier? You're going to make that X right in the middle of that box. And the pattern that we say is toss, toss, catch, catch. 
You ready? Just watch for a minute. Put your bean bags down and just watch. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Did you see the X in the middle? I'm going to do it again. Toss, toss, catch, catch. I'm doing it a little higher so it's slower so you can see it. One more time. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Excellent. Remember to scoop your hands in and don't reach up for the ball, right? We want to let the ball try to come to our hands as much as we can. Go ahead and pause and when you come back, we'll practice two balls again. Welcome back. So you have your two bean bags. You've been practicing toss, toss, catch, catch. Let's see how you're doing. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. How'd you do? You got it? All right. Remember not to reach up too high to grab the balls. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Excellent. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Now, if you're right-handed, you probably were starting with your right hand, right? Or if you're left-handed, you probably were starting with your left hand. So right now, I want you to start with the opposite hand, right? So if you were practicing toss, toss, catch, catch with your right hand, this time I want you to go left hand. So let's go toss, toss, catch, catch. And for me, that's my left hand because I was starting with my right before. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Right about eye level inside my box. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Good job. Great. Oops. I dropped one. So what do I do now? Easy. I bend over and I pick it up because my bean bags are not going to roll away. And we're going to drop the balls because we're learning something new. How many of you have ever tried to learn something new and you did it perfectly on the first try out? Right? Doesn't usually happen. Make sure that you don't get discouraged and be ready to drop those balls because it happens all the time, even to professional jugglers. They may not like me to tell you that, but it happens. And if you ever see a professional, professional juggler mess up, they'll make a joke of it, right? So go ahead and pause the camera and practice toss, toss, catch, catch. And when you return, I'm gonna show you how to add in the third bean bag. Welcome back. Oh my goodness, you're ready already for three bean bags. Now I want you to notice I've got two bean bags in one hand and one in the other. Okay? I'm going to start with the hand that has two. Always remember, start with the hand that has two. Exactly. Um, this time, I want you to practice for a moment, toss, toss, with the two, with the three bean bags in your hand. Don't worry about this third one yet. Just do what we did before. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Okay? Go ahead and see if you can do that. So you saw the X in the middle. The third bean bag is going to go in between the first two. And I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm not going to worry about catching that third bean bag, but I'm going to toss it in the right spot. Let's see if you can spot where it is. Go ahead and put your bean bags down and watch for a moment. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Did you see where it went? I didn't try to catch it yet. I'm not worried about that. I just want to get it in the right spot. Did you see where it went between the X's? Let's try it again. Watch one more time. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Did you see it? All right, go ahead and try that on your own for a moment. Push pause, and when you come back, we'll figure out how to catch it. All right, welcome back. I think you're getting the beanbag in the right spot now. Remember, it's always an X, and our phrase is toss, toss, catch, catch. After we start juggling, we start out with two in one hand, but after that, we only ever have one ball in a hand at a time. So when I toss the ball up and it reaches this point, my second one goes. And so in that way, my hand is empty to catch a bean bag. All right, let's see if we can do it. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Look at that. Oh, I'm juggling a little wildly. That's okay. Slow down. See if you can slow it down. You can throw it just a little bit higher in order to slow it down. Oh, and I hit my camera. <laughs> it happens, right? 
the good thing about the bean bag is it didn't hurt my camera because it's pretty soft and it's not going to do too much damage. So another reason to jump it with bean bags and not balls, right? Okay, so as you're juggling and as you're practicing, you may run into a few problems. One of the things that people tend to do is to chase the balls forward when they're juggling, right? What you can do is find yourself a wall, stand a little bit close to the wall, and see if you can juggle up against the wall. That way, you can't throw the bean bags forward and you can't walk forward to try to catch them, right? Good. So that's a good way to keep your keep yourself from that forward movement that a lot of people feel like they have to do when they're juggling. Keep in mind, as we said before, bean bags go about eye level. Keep them in that box at our waist. And remember not to put your hands up too high because that's gonna cause you some problems later on when we start learning some tricks, all right? Okay, keep practicing. That's the key here. If you practice for 10 minutes a day, you're gonna learn to juggle, right? And again, lifelong skill. You can do this forever because it's easy on your joints, it's easy on your body, it's good for your brains, and it's inexpensive. So now that you've been practicing for a little bit of time, woo, and I'll still mess up as I go along, but that's the fun thing about juggling is you're always learning, you're always working, and you're always working to protect. <laughs> you're always learning how to perfect your juggling skills. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I hope you continue to practice. 10 minutes a day is all you need. And like I said, you need very little space. Just make sure that you don't throw your beanbags at your camera. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. See you next time.